Hello there, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Ghost Shadongstaborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to Ghost Chai YouTube channel. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. My name is Coach Shardogster Bomb Bob Bill for Theme Parks, and welcome to this theme park newsroom discussion video. Now, this is all about Jewel at Alton Towers. Now, I think some of you may be in agreement here that Jewel at Alton Towers needs a major, major refurbishment. It needs some massive work doing to it. Um, and one of the things that's been discussed around the theme park community is actually ripping out the entire guns, the targets, uh, and ripping out the whole ride, really. Um, just keeping the ride system and just really starting again on the, the whole ride experience. So, what I want to do in this video is actually share a bit of history on Jewel, and then, using a haunted house layout, the original haunted house layout... Um, officially from Tower Street. Massive shout out to them for letting me use this photo of the layout for haunted for the original haunted house. Um, and basically use each scene and sort of go through what I would put in each individual scene and sort of share my storyline ideas for the whole ride experience. So it's really a sort of ride idea video. It, I kind of got the inspiration from this because, you know, Jewel at Alton Towers is a ride that I wanted to see uh, changed or overhauled or massively refurbished for a good few years now. Uh, and also, uh, one of you guys, you know who you are, sent in a ride idea video uh, for a, a ride idea for a video idea, uh, which, which is based on Crash Cart Nitro. So I am going to pre-record that video as well. But I thought I'd get the sort of discussion started about how I would sort of rip out Jewel and replace it with this own new Dark Ride experience, Alton Towers. So uh, feel free to share your thoughts on what you would include in each individual scene. Use it in the comment section down below the video. Uh, but for now, guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. Because trust me, we are a news channel. But we also do massive debate and discussion videos and prediction videos on theme parks. So we're really an in-depth analysis channel. Uh, and for now, guys, make sure you also go into the description down below where... Not only can you find links to submitting your video ideas using Google Forms, but also you can use the links uh, to subscribe to Twitter, TikTok, Instagram and Snapchat. All of them links are free to subscribe and also free to subscribe to the Discord server where you, yes you, can be part of the Costa Chow fan base. And uh, for now guys, let's have a look at the history of Jewel at Alton Towers before sharing my thoughts on what I would do if I was to rip out the whole ride experience. So starting with the history of the ride, so alongside the Runway Mine Train, the Haunted House was a brand new attraction for the 1992 season. This saw a huge development for the park, including the two brand new rides, as well as two brand new areas with the rides in the form of Katanga Canyon, uh, which is of course the African Jungles themed area, which um, brings in the 1986 Congo River Rapids and the Runway Mine Train, and Gloomy Woods, which brought in the original Haunted House, now called Jewel. Throughout development, Jewel constantly pro proved to be a huge technological innovation, and unlike other dark ride transit systems, Jewel works on a conveyor type system, to which the cars didn't start to unload and unload people. This system was created to remove the element of lost surprise that was given away by clearly being able to see the ride car ahead of you, and in that respect, Jewel remains a unique ride to this very day. When the press event for Jewel came around, it was discovered the ride wouldn't be able to run due to needing new parts from Matt Rides. With 20 minutes until the broadcast went live, John Wardley came up with the idea of dressing staff members as undertakers and having them sat in a ride car along with passengers in order to continuously reset each ride car's computer for the system to work. Very interesting fact there. The original haunted house which operated between 1992 and 2002 uh, was its last season of operation, 10 years of operation. It soon became apparent that change was coming for 2003. Brand new props were brought in, a brand new storyline was introduced, and ride vehicles were installed with blasters and scoreboards. The birth of Jewel, the haunted house strikes back. It underwent seasonal changes during Scarefest 2008, the blasters and targets were turned off, and the live actors were placed at regular intervals around the ride, creating Jewel Life. In 2010, Jewel Live was changed and became Skelvin's Haunted Adventure, uh, based around the friendly Scarefest mascot, Skelvin. Unfortunately, at present, Jewel is no longer included as a live attraction at Scarefest and remains open as the usual ride experience. 
Over the 2017-2018 close season, it was subject to some refurbishment work as part of the resort's Towers Loving Care program. On the attractions of Asteria, the exterior, the ivy was created from the facade, whilst the crypt was also saw a new resident inside. The queue line saw the addition of some moving portraits, which replaced the TV screens, which used to play the backstory to the ride, and much of the ride was also repainted with neon and UV paint, which was complemented with UV lighting. And it was also receiving a new soundtrack composed in-house by the Alton Towers Resort. So Jules gone through a very, very rich history at the park, and I think it's safe to say it will still remain an icon from those who rode the original Haunted House um, and those who continue to ride Jewel to this day. Uh, so let's have a look now at what could potentially be ripped out from the ride and replaced to create a completely brand new ride experience that will fix the problems over the years that Jewel has managed to bring up. So on your screen right about now, fan dabby dozy, is the Tower Street official Haunted House layout. Massive shout out to them guys. Go and follow their website. I've linked their website in the description down below. Go and check it out. They're brilliant. Um, from all that Towers goodness. Don't just check out Tower Street though. Check out Towers Times. Check out every other Towers fan forum and fan source. Uh, but Tower Street do some wonderful work as well as T Towers Times. So make sure you go check all of them out. Uh, but especially Tower Street and Towers Times because they are brilliant. However... This is the Haunted House layout on your screen now. You can see in the middle there, I've put a new logo uh, for the Haunted House that I've designed myself. That is what I would name the ride. The Haunted House, Discover the Spirits Within. That's like the tagline sub-name, shall we say, but it goes back to the Haunted House. Uh, but this is a completely modern Haunted House. This is a complete redesign of the original ride experience with new technology, brand new scares, family thrill atmosphere and an overall fantastic dark ride experience um so let's go forward then so in terms of the queue line i would keep the sort of moving portraits um the queue line would remain the same pretty much i'd open up the woodland bit of the queue line i'd open that bit up that would be permanently open um and i would use the utilize the indoor queuing sort of in the drawing room should we say um, and sort of through the station and going through the queue line and sort of, you know, going through that whole experience, that whole queue line experience. Um, and I do believe, in my opinion, that, um, you know, the, the moving portraits were a really good addition to the queue line, so I'd rather keep them in. Um, in terms of soundtrack, I'd maybe keep it that and just maybe add some stuff to it to make it a bit more atmospheric in certain places and, of course, keep playing it on a loop. Uh, but I keep most of that soundtrack and just add some stuff to it. Again, compose it in-house at the resort. Um, or I get I'm a Scott to come in and maybe do a Haunted House soundtrack. Maybe I'm a Scott and the resort in-house uh, collab together to create this massive soundtrack uh, for the new ride experience. Uh, but into the station, uh, I do I just do some updates to the lighting, to be honest, in the station. I think the lighting is quite dim, which I see where they're going with that. But I think that uh, they could really improve that a little bit more. Uh, but I think overall there should be some more uh, lighting. There should be some more sort of atmospheric atmosphere. Um, and I'd, I'd redo the trains as well. I think the trains especially. I think I'd like to do some new shells for the dual train. Uh, not me personally. <laughs> uh, not me personally. But I would like to see uh, some brand new train shells. Just to give the ride a whole new lease of life. No guns. Guns. Targets. Gone. Um, and that is as simple as that. Uh, so moving ahead through the station then into this first room, the Poltergeist room. Uh, I would do some lovely stuff with this. I, and this is where the storyline of the ride kicks in. Uh, so before I go further with the rooms and sort of tell you what I would put in this first room, the Poltergeist room originally with the Haunted House. Uh, I think it's time we told you the story of what I would go with. So my storyline for the ride is as follows. The Alton Towers Development Asso uh, Discovery Association, sorry, uh, the ATDC, uh, uh, DA, sorry, <laughs> ATDA, the Alton Towers Discovery Association, uh, an adventurous group um, of individuals that was first set up 150 years ago, and it was a group of people that seeks to outlive the paranormal and search out the paranormal activity. Um, and it comes to this abandoned house. They nickname it the Haunted House. Pays homage to the ride experience's name. Um, so they visit this house. It's an old Victorian house. 
Um, so that's what I would sort of do to the facade of the ride as well. So the exterior, uh, I'd paint it a lot, uh, more to look like an old overgrown Victorian house, which would be a lovely thing for them to do. Um, and along with that, with the storyline, they sort of go into this Victorian house, this abandoned ivory, gro ivy grown Victorian house taken over by nature. And I would really go through the storyline of the fact they're trying to haunt down, uh, hunt down the ghosts uh, that still roam their spirits free within the halls of the old Victorian house. Uh, and the mission is for you to join the ATDA and experience this ghost hunt and hunt down the ghosts. Proper family thrill storyline, nothing too sinister, nothing too sick and twisted, uh, like Darren Brown's Ghost Train could be. <laughs> uh, thought part there. Um, but I definitely think that, you know, the storyline is very family related, it keeps the family horror aspect of it, and I think there's some really good technolog technological breakthroughs they could do to bring out the storyline further along the ride. So with that storyline in mind with the ATDA, the Alton Towers Discovery Association, let's go into the first room, the Poltergeist Room. And in my personal opinion, I really do think they could utilise this room as like a, a sort of a, a mission breakdown room, shall we say. So replace this Poltergeist Room with what I would like to call um, the... Uh, rendezvous point. This is what I would call it, the rendezvous point, the abandoned rendezvous point. And basically in this scene I would have some projection mapping, um, like a hologram or like a projection mapping of, of some one of the main hunters from the ATDA sort of saying to everyone, um, you know, recapping them, and they recap it through the queue line as well. But you have like a proper queue video where it's like, your mission is to hunt down the ghosts. If you spot any ghosts, see us and we'll hunt them down for you. Uh, you don't have your blasters. Your blasters do not work. So we've got rid of them for you. We got the blasters. You tell us when and where. Obviously, they don't actually tell them when and where. Um, you just literally spot them out. This could go down the interactive route. You never know. Uh, maybe not guns, but maybe you could do like interactive sort of touching technology uh, without touching the screen or any of the production so they could do interactive technology with it but the mission but basically there's a mission recap room where it's basically you're hunting down ghosts keep your eyes peeled and hunt them down um and basically all the ghosts you experience in the experience would be you know counted and marked ready for um devac re ready for vacuuming uh, and ready for sucking so it's kind of like a ghostbusters feel um, so after the mission breakout rendezvous point room, you get into the grand hall. Again, I keep that the same. Um, and I would have, again, projection mapping, lighting, special effects, um, smoke. Um, I'd have a really good, you know, smoke effect in that. Um, and, you know, there's a really cool opportunity here in the grand hall for, um, some, like, moving, uh, animatronics. Uh, so I don't want just technology and projection mapping. I want some animatronics in there as well, some new ones from scratch. Um, so I'd like to see some of the he like some uh, stone heads or maybe some uh, little demon statues, which leads into the flying demons, of course. I'd like to see them maybe like leaning quite fast, so it's sort of like whoo, it's a jump scare. Um, I'd like to do yeah, I'd like to see some fast uh, demon statues sort of leaning in and stuff like that, like a sudden jump scare at the side. Uh, and then a flying demon. I'd keep the flying demon. That would be one of the main animatronics I'd keep from the original ride. Keep the flying demon. Just update it a bit more. Uh, and keep the animatronics working up to full capacity. Full max speed. Um, and I'd have the, the flying demon just scooting around your head. Then you go into the crash columns. Again, animatronics. I just update them. Keep them the same. Uh, add some new stuff to them. Maybe they uh, sort of affect differently. And give them a bit more of a scare factor in the ride as well. Um, then going into uh, the Tunnel of Doom, uh, I'd like to see again with this one, I'd like to see uh, the tunnel uh, working again. I'd like to see the, the trough working and all spinning around. Um, so that would be a wonderful thing to do. Um, then we go into the bat scene. With this one, I'd like to change it quite a bit. And especially with the Tunnel of Doom as well, I'd like to incorporate the Tunnel of Doom with the bat scene. And I'd like to get rid of the bats, get rid of them. And I would like to see flying winged ghosts. Now, you might think I'm crazy here, but I'd like to see some flying ghosts. Now, this can be incorporated with the Tunnel of Doom. Again, the idea of projection mapping 
uh, loads of technology on the Tunnel of Doom. So while the tunnel's spinning around, you've got like flying ghosts sort of corkscrewing around your car, if you know what I mean. Uh, and they sort of go... Th and the projection mapping actually continues going through the Tunnel of Doom into this former bat scene uh, from, the, from the original Haunted House. Um, so I'd like to see them incorporate the Tunnel of Doom and the bat scene together into like a flying ghosts scene. And I'd like to see them uh, go with that particular theme, with that particular scene. Um, and sort of carry on the projection mapping from the tunnel to the scene. And sort of don't have a break in between. Which is what I was looking for with this particular scene. So uh, that's something to think about. Then you go into the giant's lair. Now this one, I'd like to see some more leaning in animatronics. And brand new animatronics. Uh, with this one, I'd like to see Satan's guards. I'd like to see some haunted knights. You know, some old classic um, medieval knight uh, statuettes uh, brought to life by the spirits. And again, projection mapping. You see what Baron 1898, just before you go up the lift hill at F Telling on the dive coaster from B&M. Uh, you see the projection mapping at the top to get the mine sort of working and get you up the lift hill of the, of the coaster. Um, again, I'd like to see maybe some spirits sort of projection map to go into the sort of space in the mask of the uh, of the uh, night statuette sort of light it up and keep it lighting up as it leans in to the riders again that'd be really nice um then you go into the hall of spiders and um again i'd like to see this kept as the hall of spiders but massively updated uh maybe some spiders drop from the ceiling at a certain point at a max speed um, it would be amazing. It'd be really incredible. Um, maybe as you go into the ghost corridor, maybe you could like you know like one of those thick uh, plastic sheeting curtains, and you sort of get pushed through it. I'd like to see that, but sort of like rubber spiders on like string as the curtain. So you get see so literally your face goes underneath the spiders, which is going to be really creepy. And you sort of like oh get them off me. Uh, so it'd be a really uncomfortable feeling for the riders, which is uh, a great family horror experience. Uh, then you go into the ghost corridor with this one. Again, projection mapping. There's so much potential with this. Um, on the ceiling, on the on the walls of the corridor of the ghosts. And again, this could be a massive sort of help to the storyline as well. Um, sort of get the suction of the ghosts and things like that. Uh, I'm not saying a Ghostbusters IP in any way, shape, or form, but like a proper like suck down and hunting of the ghosts, uh, like blasting them. Um, so it'd be really cool to see that. Then you go into the Screaming Heads. Again, I'd love to see that. Um, I think that would be brilliant. Um, and then the Ghoulish Garden. Again, both scenes. Just update them, give them new animatronics, keep them up and running. And just overall would be really nice. Uh, and then finally into that swamp. Um, so yeah, again, I'd like to see them do that as well. i like to see that sort of uh, aspect of it get updated. Maybe the swamp becomes a massive... Um, ghostly, ghoulishly finale. Um, so instead of it being just a swamp, maybe you get like a massive creature and you sort of have, you have quite a bit of space. You, you can see on the image where the actual writing of the word swamp is. And you have quite a bit of space there. Uh, so maybe I'd like to see like a massive theming item and maybe some smoke coming up from it and you sort of have to escape the smoke uh, and then you go through into the ending. Uh, and then you come out of the ride and then you go through the exit path. Uh, and maybe I'd like to see what they did with the Darren Brown's Ghost Train updates. Maybe a false shop and then one big horror finale. Uh, but I'm not sure that's probably possible. So I would probably just stick to the original uh, shot. But I would have in the exit corridor, um, you know, soundtrack saying, Well done, you helped us suck all the ghosts back into its containers. No doubt they'll be let loose again. But no doubt you'll be back soon at the Alton Towers Resort to help us recapture the ghosts in this old Victorian house. Um, so that is how I'd sort of play the storyline and projection mapping and updated animatronics into the Haunted House original ride experience. Uh, but you can you can sort of tell by the, by me using the original Haunted House layout rather than the dual layout. Uh, you can see where I was wanting to reference with the old Haunted House. Um, but yeah, the Haunted House, uh, Discover the Spirits Within... Uh, would be a wonderful ride experience and I mean comment down below what we what you would do to the scenes But I personally cannot wait to see the future of Jewel. So there we go ladies and gentlemen thrill seeks of all ages That is my sort of interpretation of what I'd like to see happen to Jewel rip it out get the haunted house back in Reincorporate it reinvent it as a proper haunted house dart ride 
and uh, incorporate a proper storyline in, new animatronics, projection mapping, new technology, new effects, new lighting, and just overall completely change this ride. Um, I think I've got. I think if Nemesis's refurbishment goes ahead, I've got, you know, no doubts whatsoever that Jewel, Kong River Rapids, they're the two rides that I think are next up for a refurbishment. Uh, buildings like Subterra site and uh, you know Ripsaw site will be up next for development as well. Um, so there's a lot of future sites for Alton Towers, not just for Secret Weapon 9 and Secret Weapon Town and onwards, but uh, you know flat rides, dark rides, water rides. There's so much potential right here, and um, you know with Alton Towers Resort, I do think that um, you know this is going to be an exciting future, especially for Jewel as well. But overall, the future for Alton Towers. Now, don't quote me on this, but I did see on the Towers Times forum from somewhere. Uh, someone put they've heard a rumour from somewhere that Spinball Wizard is going to get removed from the lineup. Again, comment down below if you know any more from this. Uh, but, you know, I mean, if you do, then I'll probably do a full video on it. But I, th I, th I thought I'd mention it towards the end of this video just to give you guys a heads up. Comment down below if you know any more about this. Uh, but overall, with Jewel, I think rip it out, get the Horn Sounds back in, and get that ride experience back up to scratch. Um, because I think without the guns, this could be an incredible ride experience and pay homage to the original Haunted House Dart ride. Uh, but there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this Theme Park Newsroom discussion video. We're doing loads of these prediction and discussion videos uh, with plenty of different theme parks across the world. Not just Alton Towers, but Thorpe Park, Drake Manor, Flamingo Land, uh, Lightwater Valley, um, Six Flags Park, Cedar Fair Parks, Fantasia Land, Europa Park. It's all going down this year. But thank you very much, guys. For watching this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Keep living the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a haunted, fantastic day. Ooh.